Hello guys, in today's video, I will show you how to build the Sonic Mania decompilation. I will list the website in the description, the file for it, and uh, the file that I'm using right now. And, um, something, something else. The commands that you need. Or you could just do it all on the website. So, you're going to want to set up folders because, yeah. Finally, this is done. This took like 13 minutes. So guys, I literally just stopped my other video and deleted it because it was I, like, I, it was too long. So basically, what you're going to want to do is, it, sh it should say, um, what are we name? To download it. I'll just re-download the whole thing. So I'll do. So you're gonna wanna make a folder that is the setup for your game, and one's gonna be on the. the one's gonna be where you're gonna store your game. The heck just happened. Where'd my rec room go? I'll deal with that later. Alright, so. When you download it. When you, or when you click the file. It should look a little something like this. So you're going to want to hold down control. Click S and save it where you want it to be saved. So I'm saving it into my setup folder. There, uh, it's done. It should look a little some. It should say just dependencies dot bat. If it does, then you're gonna want to click view, hold down show, and if, and make sure this is on. And then you're gonna want to click it and get rid of the dot text at the end. Then you're just going to want to open it by double clicking it or right clicking it and clicking open. So what you want to do after you're done that is go into your Sonic Mania decompilation folder. But you will have this after you run the command. You're going to put your mouse over here to where it's not touching anything. Hold down shift key, right click, and click open PowerShell window here. And now you're gonna see something like this. Now you're gonna wanna use the command in the description. It should look like a little something like this, I think. No, that's not it. That's not it. It's not it. Alright, um. should look like this. Enter. There, it should say this. If it's right. Now just wait. You can hit the gritty, play Fortnite, just stare at the computer while it's doing this. I'm just gonna stare at the computer. Oh, that was Click. Now that that's done, you're gonna wanna select this thing. It should say CMake dash dash build build dash dash config release. Enter it. Now it should be doing a little something like this. Ah! Oh. oh my gosh! Generating code. Generating code. Generating code. Generating code. Oh yeah, by the way guys, if you're wondering what this is, it's OBS, it's what I use to record now, because it doesn't stop my recording every time I go to my desktop. And I just think it's cool, but it's a pain to set up. I'll link it in the description, and I'll make a video on how to set this up. Good. Lee. Whatever.
And also, I will link Razor Cortex in. So it's a booster to where you can like, you can click boost now. You could go booster prime, boost your games by changing the resolution, the FPS, the display mode. You can clean your system, speed stuff up, defrag your games for performance. If you go my rig, it'll tell you what your stuff is. So, guess I'll just wait. Ah! How far are we into the video? Wow, we're already five minutes in. Hopefully this doesn't take ten years. I guess I'll just... Go delete my other recordings if I have any. Hmm, what is this? Hello. Old video. Don't need it. What? I guess it's what I'm making right now or something. Alright, is it done? Nope, it is not done. Alright. I like how it does this thing when I'm talking. Alright, the KV5. There, it's done. Yes, yes, yes. Now, to find your thing, you're going to want to go to Dependencies, RSDKV5, uh, RSDKV5 again, I think. Nope, this is wrong. Back, back, back. Alright, you're going to want to go to Build, uh, Dependencies, RSDKV5, Release, and you should find these little guys. Copy them or move them into your game folder. But that's not everything you need. You also need your um mods folder. Or not mods folder. You need your um your data.rstk. Which you can do this without owning an actual copy of the game. To do this you just go to Google search Sonic. Mm. Sonic Mania ah, data.rsdk data.rsdk Reddit might be a virus, but if it is, I know it's one of It's Internet Archive. It is not well, it might be a virus, but I don't think it is honestly. So to download it you're gonna wanna go down here, click show all. Now you're gonna wanna find something that says Data.rsdk, I think. I think this is it. And if not, then use the Reddit one. Let's see if it works. So the game will not launch, I don't think, without, um... Without the data.rsdk, yep. Just looks like this. Yeah, it'll just say mod loading done for 10 years. It might say this even with the data.rsdk, but I doubt it. Is my download done? Yep, it is. Alright, now I'm going to give my downloads. I'm going to copy this into my folder. Alright, now just, let's see if it works. Bro! Bro! Okay, so, something tells me that was not the data.rsdk, so let's try it with the Reddit one. Yep, I do really this often. Ten years later. Reddit takes longer. Alright, 
drive.google.com download anyway it's probably I don't think it's a virus all right now let's just wait the extra 20 years that we need to wait empty out my recycle bin Let's see how far I am into the video. Hmm, 10 minutes. Download faster. Once that's done downloading, which now it is, you're gonna wanna drag it into your folder. Thing a a bobber. What? Alright, I think this is it. Copy. Now, I'm gonna paste it into here. And I'm gonna rename it. Get rid of the one. Alright, there now. I'm just gonna open it. This to get full screen more, you just gotta wait for all this to load. Also, to get if you have ring chimes, then you did it right. Go back to the website. I will leave it in the description. What? Ah. Uh, here. What? It's not. <laughs> debug mode you could just do that up up down down left right left right thing or you could go to settings.ini or settings.ini and then just yeah if that says n change it to y y stands for yes no um I guess it's not here. I thought I would have seen debug mode, but I guess not. Now that you've done that, click file, then just click save. Now that it's saved, you should have the dev menu. Yep, here we go. And you could go to mods, which I have no idea why it's not. I guess you just need like something. I have no idea what you call it. I guess you just need, um, Whatever. Bye.